Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Notepad. Today we'll be looking at starting and then exporting commands within command prompt from the Notepad environment. And I'll be using the classic Notepad, not Notepad++ for this. So first thing I'm going to do is write our code and then we're going to save it as a batch file so that it can run command prompt and open it. So let's start. So I've made the text bigger so you can see it. So first thing I'm going to do is type start and then cmd.exe, remember to have the extensions onto the end. And then you're going to have a new line, and then we're going to use the help command, which help within command prompt displays all the lists of available commands that you can use within command prompt, well, most of them. And um, what we're going to be doing is exporting the results of that help command into a txt file. So let's just do that. So we've got start cmd.exe. So the next thing we're going to do is type in help, and then we're going to have greater than and then help.txt and this will um, get the help command and then convert it into a txt file and then next thing I'll do is save as a batch file then to go to all files save as cmd.bat you may have to type in .bat yourself and then save it next thing you're going to do is go to the file and you simply just click on it just click on it like this and it will run and notice it went very very quickly here in command prompt and then notice also that help.dxt file appeared and this is it this is the output so it went very quickly into command prompt and then printed it into txt file all very very quickly um, and I think what this can do say instead of help you had you don't know you know, you had IP config. You know, you can then put that into a separate file and call it, you know, IP addresses txt. And you've got you got you know IP addresses of all the things connected to your network. You can also do um, net if my n works, net uh, WLAN show profile, and then you type in I think it's people's, uh, I have to type in the um, computer name and you get a list of, and you can get, get access to that password that they had on their on their network. And then you, now you have access to people's IP addresses and people's passwords. So, and then you can export that to a TXT file. So, you know, it's a very powerful tool. And um, yeah, really great thing to do as well. Um, one of the things I'll be doing later on is how to auto run from Notepad as well, though some systems have now had this disabled, this ability, to, this ability to do that disabled. So it may work for me, it may not work for me, I have yet to find out, but it also, it may not work for me, it may work for you or vice versa. So we'll see. But um, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I'll be doing lots more on Notepad. And I've got lots more on Python available. In fact, I do a very similar thing in Python where I start command prompt and then you can do exactly the same thing I did with Notepad but in the Python environment as well. And um, yeah, subscribe if you like it and don't forget to share it as well. Thanks very much for watching.